so in this part of the video we are continuing the second part in this uh, ACS uh, uh, storm modeling using hack HMS uh, so in the last part so we have delineated these uh, uh, sub watersheds from this whole uh, catchment so in this part we will continue uh, we will compute the ACS parameters uh, so to begin this you need to export this uh, uh, this uh, catchment boundary that is the sub basin file to GIS and from the GIS we will do the further process so let's uh, export this uh, uh, the wa sub watershed boundary so you can see this uh, the highlighted by the uh, polygon having the black border uh, so for that move to GIS in the GIS export your reference elements so you can export either a river reach or a basin but for this task I need the sub basin so element type sub basin next so locate the file so I will locate that file in this input data set folder mm. yes sub basin okay finish so now the file is uh, exported that is in the shape format so that uh, you can uh, do some further process in ArcGIS so let's move to ArcGIS and add those status which we have uh, already created so here you can see this CN grid that is the curve number grid map which is a grid raster which is uh, which I already created so if you want to uh, create that uh, curve number grid map from the beginning uh, so I'll add that uh, video in the description so first I will add this uh, already created CN grid map so you require to create uh, any CN grid map you need the land use map and the soil map vector and further process and you will get this uh, CN grid raster so first I'll add this CN grid here And next, I will add that exported sub basin from this uh, hack HMS. Okay. So here you can see the sub basin, and you can check and open the attribute table of the sub basin here. So you have the name and its location and the area. Okay let it be as it is okay fine okay now so now we want to distribute this uh, curve number grid values and me average value of this curve number grid and distribute to this uh, poly sub polygons that means they, they are the sub basins okay so to do that just select this art toolbox in the art toolbox mode to special analyst tool in the special analyst tool the zonal in the zonal zonal statistics as table Uh, so after opening this uh, zonal statistics as table so now select the input raster or a feature zone data so I will select the input features so this one is the sub basin
and the zonal field so i want to populate this uh, table with respect to watershed names so that's why i selected this uh, uh, zonal field as name of the subbasin and input raster so input raster is this uh, uh, is a cn grid raster and select this uh, output table so where i want to store this data so i will select it as and name the table as table cn table so i will name it as table save it so statistics so it will ask for what kind of statistics you want to perform with this uh, uh, cn grid so i want to distribute the mean value of the gridded uh, curve number data to the polygons and sub polygons so i will select this one as the mean here uh, so that means it will distribute the weighted average values of the uh, raster grid that is the cn grid to this uh, sub basin vector so okay so now you can see this data by opening this table here open the table so here you can see this uh, uh, sub basin name and corresponding mean value so mean value is nothing but the the average curve number values distributed to sub basin okay so you can export that table to uh, excel so you can export this to excel here by selecting this export so it will export this table in the dbs format that is dbf format so I will name this folder as this the okay CN table. So you can save it in dbase format or text format so i'll uh, we'll save it as this as uh, dbase format okay save so, so so it is saved in this excel format there so now close it and now move to excel and open the file and uh, starts computing the uh, the cn grid parameter uh, with uh, and uh, compute this uh, time of concentration and other uh, SES parameters so let its uh, next part will be the computation part so okay so this one is the this one is the computation worksheet so before that i need to add these uh, data from this curve number curve numbers so open browse so dbase format select this dbase format uh, Yes, this one is select this DVA format and move to that folder where we have saved the file. 
so here you can see this one the cn tables so open this so here you can see here you can see this area and this one is the mean so the mean value is nothing but the weighted mean curve numbers and these are the watershed basin names so i'll copy this and paste in the worksheet here and similarly for the curve number i copy this and paste it here I copy this and paste it here so I can change its uh, decimals points I can adjust its decimal points here so zero now I can move to two okay so curve number uh assigned so now can I, now we take this uh, <coughs> uh, sub basin characteristics from the hec hms table so here if i open this parameters in parameters sub basin so here for the computation of the ss time of concentration uh, so I need this one is the longest flow path I need this and this I require this basin slope so yes I will do this and I will copy both of these columns and paste it here Okay, when I can change the cell size here to two digits, okay, two digits, okay, fine. And this one is the longest flow path. Flow path. in kilometers and basin slope it's in meter per meter So we need to convert this to columns. So first, I need uh, I need to convert this longest flow path into meters because to suit this formula. So I need to convert this longest flow path to meters. So longest flow path here and meters. So just multiply this value with multiply this value with thousand so because the conversion factor from kilometer to meter so multiply this by thousand and scroll it down so we have converted this longest flow path into 
meters as similarly for the basin slope so we need that basin slope in terms of the average watershed uh, slope nothing but basin slope in terms of percentage so basin slope in terms of percentage so to get that value in terms of percentage so we need to multiply this basin slope with 100 so into 100 so now we are getting the basin slope in terms of percentage so we can change its decimal to two digits, two digits okay fine so we have converted this cn grid cn grid and okay so we have we have all the data which are required for the C <coughs> grid computation and now we are we will compute this time of concentration tc so tc in hours okay so tc in hours so we have this equation so where l is the length of the longest flow path so it is here so let's do that here mm. so l to the power point eight multiply by this thousand divided by cn cn is here it's called number here minus nine to the power point seven divided by four forty one point two this basin slope eight two point five okay so So now we have computed the time of concentration TC in hours and scroll it down and now we need to compute this time of concentration in terms of minutes so to add that into this uh, hack HMS model so we need to convert this into minutes so to do that so we can do that by here so TC in minutes so multiply this value with 60 so here is the time of concentration so we have computed this sub basins and time of concentration 